It's extremely important to consistently walk your flip projects. Today, we're gonna bring you along with us as we walk five of our 22 projects under construction right now. Okay, so we're here today at one of our biggest construction jobs at the moment. But before we go in and show you everything, make sure you give us that thumbs up so this video goes all around YouTube to help more people than just yourself. We want to teach as many people as we can. So let's check it out. Let's go in. I love how we walk up to this house though. I know, look at all these plants and flowers. It's so cool to have like a green space in the middle of the house where every side of the house actually looks into, into this. It? Yeah. It's cool. I like this. So you may remember this property from a designer pass we did on Elk Clover. Well, here it is. It's cleaned up. It's all demoed out, ready for us to put it back together. Still a lot of work to be done here. So a couple issues that we have is, unfortunately, this is the second property that the HOA has cracked down on us with and gave us a stop work order on. So right now it's at a complete halt, which puts us way behind. They keep really screwing us over and they keep giving us these stop work orders right now when actually you don't need approval to do anything on the inside of the house. You know, and, and besides that, we follow the rules. We turn all the necessary paperwork in, but they've just decided to start cracking down on all these flippers and investors around town because there's so many at the moment. Yeah. So they're really making it hard on us. But while we're here, why don't we look at some of the things that have actually gained a lot of progress since that first video we did. Yeah, and I think one, look at how much different this house looks taking some of this wall down. This was actually closed off right here. So now having this wide open into another room, I can be on this end of the house and see all the way to that end now. I really it, like it that. It feels way more open in here. Yeah. And even if you turn the camera this way, we're going to put beams in, but this and this are going to come down too. So this whole area is going to feel quite a bit larger. And where you're standing now is going to be the formal dining room, and that's going to be the formal living room. Okay, so now, as you can see, they started working on this big wide open space here. Took this exterior wall down that I just walked through, which is kind of crazy. This entire space is gonna be a sliding glass door. So it's gonna open from this side all the way to here, which is gonna make it feel really open from the inside out. This is a big upgrade. Up here on the second story was a very small bedroom. And we decided that in order to give the upper area, the upper floor of the house, somewhere to hang out instead of just inside a bedroom, we took down this entire wall. So now this hallway leads into basically a loft area where you can hang out on the second story. I love it. He loves it. I'm in. So the numbers on this house are pretty solid. We paid 1.4 million for it. I think the rehab is gonna be what, 200,000? By the end of the day, we're probably gonna be more like 225,000 all in with the landscape and the entire house. But when we go to list it, we're probably gonna list it now at about a $2 million list price. Yeah, and if we hit 2 million, we should make about 200,000 on the deal. Not bad. Big profits. All right, we're here at property number two for the day. This is in a guard gated community, a residence that's 55 and over called Sienna up here. We have a beautiful lush landscape in the front and back. This home is completely done. Let's go inside and check out the finished staged turnkey product. Let's go ahead. We just walked in. We're hey guys, I'm out. over here in the kitchen. There's, there's someone here, go check it out. This thing's nice. Oh, well hello. So as you can see, we're standing in the kitchen of this property that is ready to hit the market tomorrow. Once again, tried out a new theme with the two-tone cabinetry. I think this kitchen looks awesome with the gray island, gray lowers, wide uppers. Of course, we got our brand new appliance package into it. Um, this thing, this is looking good. Right now, all I'm finding as I'm walking through are a couple blue tape items. So we're here checking on, looking at a final product. Looks like our construction manager has one last pass to go through and actually take care, like I see some right here, take care of some final items, just final touch up things before we list this property. What do you think about this? This is kind of different. Do you like this or do you think this is kind of odd? I like it. I think yeah. it's cool. I think it's pretty different. Yeah. Not only the center, but when you come and look at the corners, 
Corners look really cool. Yeah, they match up really well. I think this is pretty cool. Let's go check out the master. All right, so coming into the master bath, super bright, very nice. Wow, this is kind of weird though. So come take a look at this, step back over here. This is the master shower, as you can see. Whoa, super, <laughs> keep rolling. Super custom shower, big, but what the hell is this? You know, this glass is way too short. We did want the fixed panel. It's also chipped, which is a little odd. So this glass actually should have been about another three to four feet longer. Cause when I'm standing in the shower, unfortunately my buns are out of the shower, which means this glass is way too small. Definitely got to make a call on that because it's not right. This master bedroom actually had two closets. One was really small and happened to be in kind of like the hallway when you walked into the room. So instead we turned it into like an actual little buffet or a coffee bar with some stores and some shelves as you walk in the room. Because once you're in, you actually have a really big walk-in closet. That's plenty of space for him and for her. So we really didn't feel the need and it made something a little bit different, a little bit cool inside the bedroom. One thing I love about this master bedroom is it sits super high up on the course and we actually have the course lake here as well. So really beautiful views outside the window. So going over the numbers of this property, it's a, it, we bought this thing at what, 650,000? Yes, we paid a little bit more than we probably should have for the property, but we went ahead and did it because we did others in this neighborhood that we felt very confident about. And this property sits on an excellent location inside the neighborhood, so that made us feel confident as well. Right, and then the rehab on the property was $60,000. We're gonna list it at $799,900, and if we get eight hundred dollars plus for it, should be about forty dollars to $50,000 profit. Right, not the most extreme profit, especially for the price point of this house, but it's enough for us to feel good about doing the deal because we were so confident about everything else. Still money made. Okay, I don't know if you guys remember this, but we're at property number three and it's our Pine Hollow Rehab. There's a lot of work happening here, so let's get inside and check on it. Let's do it. So we hear a lot of work going on inside. So before we go in, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can check this entire project and watch it all the way to the finish along with all of our others. So now we're inside our Pine Hollow Flip and I want to show you guys some of the progress in certain areas that we've made. So let's go in and dive into the first one. This place is crazy. So I don't know if you remember from our previous video on Pine Hollow, but we were adding almost 175 square feet of livable space yeah. and a 24 foot slider. Well, it's been poured, so check this out. From where Landon's standing to where I am right now it used to be patio. Yep, it used to be the exterior patio. We poured it up and put this huge 24, 25 foot long beam in above the slider door and check how big this space is gonna be for this, for this uh, slider. 24 feet long, full glass panels. This is all gonna collapse all the way back to the corner and your whole house is gonna have indoor outdoor living. This place is gonna be crazy. Look at how wide open it is now. Yeah. As you can see in the ceiling, we took quite a few non-load bearing walls down. You could see all these lines in the ceiling here were walls previously. So you can imagine how closed off this space felt. Right when we walked in the door, there was a powder bathroom right about here. There was a bar right about here and walls going all around. So now that this is open, we've had to relocate those items. Yeah, it was like a maze in here and now it's wide open. As you can see, these guys, this is where the powder was. They're yeah, that's deleting, where the toilet was. They're gonna delete that plumbing. And what we actually did is we added the powder bathroom over here. Right, so we so, had to relocate that over here. Yeah, it's cool. All this is brand new framing that we put up. We added a full bathroom and a walk-in closet to this front den. So there's value add there, right? We added a bedroom, a bathroom to the house. Huge add, uh, value add. All right, so here we are inside property number four for the day, checking on progress. Let's take a look at everything that's been done so far. Yeah, if you guys don't remember, this is our El Macero property. It's another million dollar flip of ours going on. So if you haven't checked out the design video, go watch that because now you're seeing it come to life. Exactly, so let's point out some of the things we've done so far. Here we are in the grand room, right off of the front door. The floors are going in and they look awesome. Yeah, and look at how good this room looks now that it's been re-drywalled, opened, opened up. up. This house is looking phenomenal. So our big, big feature wall 
with probably 25 to 30 foot ceilings is right behind me here. Small mistake that we're gonna fix this fireplace area. So basically from where he's standing to where I'm standing. Should be about 10 feet. It should be built out a little bit. We yeah. wanted it kind of a foot to 18 inches off the wall all the way up so that when you look at the wall as a whole, this kind of stood out. Yeah, so they need to come back, take the fireplace out and fix that. So mistake made, but it's easily fixable. They could frame it up and get this thing tiled. Yep. And if you don't remember, what we're doing is we're gonna tile this with a big 24 by 48 inch dark tile to contrast against the floors. And then either side of the wall, shiplap. We're all shiplapping all the way up as well with yep. a nice bright white shiplap. Yep. That's gonna look super cool. So right behind you, let's get into the kitchen. I'm seriously, I'm loving these floors. I know. This it's, is a brand new product that we're using. We haven't used this color before, but I think with our overall design, it's gonna look awesome. Uh, they're way nicer. I was, we were nervous that they could be a little bit yellow or piney almost. Yeah, too, too light, yeah. but wow, they look really, really good. It's so, awesome. Super excited. Look at the kitchen. Like, and the, <laughs> yeah, and the, ba and the, in the last video, all the walls were still up. The big yeah. island was still up. Yeah. So now that it's all gone and reconfigured, you can see how big the kitchen's gonna be. We're gonna have cabinetry all the way around to the other wall. Had to take out that window in order to do it. Deleted a window there. And then we're gonna have our big 12 foot by five foot, or 10 foot by five foot island right here in the middle of it. Yep, facing now your awesome feature wall. Yeah, gonna look really, really good. Cool, awesome. So if you've watched any of our progress rocks or any of our finished products, you know that we, are val we love to add value. We love finding areas in the house where we can do value add renovations. And I'll bring you into this was a very small den. This was essentially a second office. We at, right where you're standing right now was actually wide open and the doors used to be right here. So since this was such a small room, we scooted the doors back giving a little more footage into the room, but the biggest thing we did was add a full bath. Yeah, come over here and check this out. So this, this was a very small den, this wall was closed off. So we added a door here. We still have a closet to make it a bedroom, because as you may know, for, for a room to be considered a bedroom in a house, it has to have egress, which is a window, AC, and a closet. So now we have a full bedroom and it has its own ensuite bathroom. We have the tub shower combo. We'll have a, a, the toilet here and then a 24 inch vanity here. So we turned a den, which adds no value to the house truly into a full bedroom and bathroom. So I'm glad we came in here to check on the progress because this is coming along so, so good. It's moving quick. It's looking good. Let's go check out property number five. So here we are inside property number five, the last one of the day, we made it. Upon walking in, I'm super happy because I got guys working here, I see stuff happening, and we see some progress. Yeah, this is never a bad sign when, it's, when there's this much going on in all, the, all of our properties. Yep. And really, we're happy with everything that's going on today. So far, there's yeah. There's been a lot of work going on, so things are moving forward. This is why we walk our properties. This is why we do this every once in a while to make sure that things are moving forward and progress is being made. So let's take a look at some of the things that have been done so far. Looks like we got floors in. So as you can see, you know, floors and paint are some of the first thing that gets done on these properties. Mm -hmm. It's one of the major items too that takes the longest. So guys, looks like the guys are working on baseboards and trim today. As you can see, we got our nice five inch square baseboard in. This is gonna surround the entire walls of the house. Yeah. Looking good. Let's take a look around, see what we find. Yeah. So from the rest of the house, I can see a lot of the floors and base are going in. Right here in the master, I can see that they've started most of their demo. They're almost done getting all of these shower and tub components out. We're gonna be turning this again into a massive custom shower, tiled walls all around. This is gonna look super, super nice and upgraded as soon as you turn the, turn the corner into your master bathroom. The rest of the house is still being worked on. Lots of work to do. Let's go outside because I do love the view that this house has. Check that thing out. So as you can see, we did a lot of walking properties today. We saw a lot of homes in different stages, lots of progress being made. If you're flipping properties, please make sure that you're walking your projects as often as possible to make sure you, you're catching mistakes, you're fixing things ahead of time. It's 
always, always helpful to do that before it's completed. And one thing we were talking about just during the whole day and during the tour is that you may notice a lot of our properties are on a golf course or have a view or there's some element aside from the interior of the house itself that makes this property a little more desirable and a little more sought after when we go to sell it to a buyer. So if you have any questions on any of the properties that we walked today from the construction phase to the purchasing phase to the listing phase, please drop a uh, comment below. We'll be sure to answer those questions. Until then, we'll see, see you on, on the flip, flip side. side.